Amy, earlier on you mentioned about succession planning. Um, how does that link in with the productivity of, of a business in your experience? Yeah, thanks, Jim. I'm happy to chat a bit more about that. So, as I'm sure you both know, succession planning, um, the process of identifying and developing, perhaps, uh, new leaders of a business. Um, and then we come on to productivity, which is the topic that, that we've all been discussing of late. And it's something that has been in people's minds, um, in particular, throughout the last year. Um, naturally, there have been concerns um, around a dip in productivity and also uh, morale. So we've got productivity, we've got succession planning, um, and people don't often connect the two, um, but they should. And let me explain why. So good advice from a good advisor together with the right succession plan for that business owner in turn if you think about it leads to less disruption um, it, it leads to greater continuity and in turn leads to maintained if not greater levels of productivity and profitability and, and if you think about it from a stakeholder or customer perspective they would see little to no change in terms of service levels which is what you would want um, and in terms of the employees, they would feel that the ship is steady. They would feel that the future is more certain. And in turn, you've then got employees who are more focused, more committed and more productive. So I think having the right succession plan in place isn't just about having, you know, or it, we'll put it this way, it isn't just for the benefit of the business owner. It's also for the benefit of the business itself. So if I delve into that in a little more detail, I think there is there is actually evidence, hard evidence, to support this join up between succession planning and productivity. And an example, um, which I, I briefly touched upon in our last discussion, um, is around employee ownership. We could talk about that in a separate discussion. You know the pros and cons of employee ownership. There's lots to say on all of that, but the evidence does suggest that one of the key benefits. Um, of employee ownership is the positive impact that that has on a business productivity levels and also in turn the, 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 the overall performance of the business and its, and its profitability. And they say that that is linked entirely to the increased levels of staff engagement and in turn retention of your employees. Um, and I think there's also been evidence there to, you know, when you look at employee-owned businesses in the UK versus the, the non-employee-owned businesses in the UK, the productivity levels are higher in those businesses that are owned by employees. And I actually thought that was really interesting. Um, so if we move on from, from employee ownership, but in a similar vein, um, I just wanted to touch upon share options as well. And I mentioned that in our previous discussion again um, very briefly. So um, Share options, as you know, are offered to certain key employees, perhaps to incentivise them, perhaps to, to try and retain them. But again, the evidence suggests that those employees who have been offered share options um, have increased levels of engagement and productivity. There's definitely something in that. Um, and, and I think so. That if I summarise that, that is us um, giving examples of where succession planning can actually help uh, increase and drive productivity levels. But if you flip it on its head, the more productive and the more profitable a business is, the more options there are in terms of succession planning. So let's take a management buyout, for instance. You know, these are often funded or certainly part funded um, by the business. So um, if you're a business owner there, and you're looking to, to go through a management buyout, um, you know, if you have a business that has high production or high productivity levels and high profitability, you're certainly de-risking yourself in terms of your deferred consideration. Um, and usually management buyouts there kind of over a lengthier period of time. So there's an element of, of de-risking yourself there. Then we come on to a third party sale. And, you know, well, it kind of partly goes without saying, I mean, the, the efficient and productive and profitable businesses are those that are driving up interest driving up value and driving up pricing. So I just really wanted to highlight the, the link between succession planning and productivity because it's not an obvious one, but it is when you think about it. Um, 
And so if there are any business owners who who don't have a succession plan in place, then my advice would be get in front of a, of a decent advisor that can help you put one in place because the evidence really does appear to lead to the fact that you can get improved productivity levels but also greater options for the future of your business. That makes a lot of sense. Amy, having the, the buy-in from your key players in your team or your employees throughout the business seems to certainly uh, improve efficiencies and productivity in the bottom line of the business. That really does um, stack up. Thanks very much for that. No yeah, also, Amy, I found that fascinating, um, the link between the productivity and, and the correct design of the uh, exit succession plan. Really, really interesting. Thank you very much for that. No problem at all.